It's filming. This is weird, I know. I don't like it. You don't like it. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I am here to give you what was my very first attempt at book shopping vlog. I went to Barnes & Noble on their most busiest day of the season on fundraiser day. So if my nerves weren't already high. Oh, look, my library just got that one in. <laughs> okay, dokie. They definitely were on this day. Filming in public was just, it was a lot, but I did try my best for you guys. And so I hope you get something out of this video. Oh, it's by Shawna McGuire. I forgot about her. This one's such a funny story. And by a funny story, I mean the fact that I've had several patrons at the library tell me that they think the author was high while writing that. And that one. And that one. If you guys haven't noticed, one of my favorite things to do when I go to Barnes & Noble is to look at all of the brand new books that have recently been released and play the game, does my library have that right now? or shall I add it to the list? Okay. Basically, if I see a book that my library has, I point it out, and then if they don't have it and it has a pretty cover or pretty spine, whatever, I'm like, hmm, what's that about? And I read what it's about, and I take a picture of it, and I might just add it to a list to picture. give my boss so that they can buy it. And it's one of my favorite games, and I recommend you do it too, if you work at a library. Or you could go to the library before, and then go to Barnes & Noble, and you could still play the same game. Ahahaha. <laughs> Ew, what is this? had live music this day and I really wanted to film some of it to use in place of the background music I had but as soon as I started recording for like to get a clip of the person singing they went on break and they were on break until we left and so <laughs> that plan got thrown out the window but every time I go to Barnes & Noble, I look at the end caps and on the tables to see if I spot anything that has an interesting cover that I might just have to have. So I did that a few times. Didn't find anything aside from this cute little witch book that, no, I still haven't read and I filmed this a month ago, but we don't talk about that. And then I journeyed to the YA section of Barnes & Noble, and that is where I tried to be social because I saw somebody reaching for an enchantment of ravens. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind. About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simple at times. I love that book, by the way. <laughs> Have you read her other one? Yes, yeah, I'm reading. If there's only one best friend, is that what's called? Is it good? I don't know. I'm really like Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
then proceeded to make my way to the front of the store and go to the science fiction and high fantasy section, aka my favorite section of the entire store. Every time I go here, I spend a majority of my time right here. So that is what I did today as well. And I did find one other book that I was interested in, but it was really expensive and I do believe I talked about that at the end of this video so you'll just have to wait for that. I also stopped by the middle grade children section of Barnes & Noble. I don't ever buy anything from this section but I always like to stop there because it's one of my favorite age groups to read from. And then after I made a quick stop here, accidentally zoomed my camera in without my notice, I kindly went to the Harry Potter section and found something that uh, changed the entire day. And because of my newfound obsession with learning languages, the final stop of the day was the language section. It's at the back of the store, near the bathroom, and there was nothing in Swedish. I just need you all to know that. I felt deeply, personally offended by this BNN. They had German and Dutch and Hindi and Tagalog or however it's pronounced. Men. Nothing. Svenska? I know. I know. They have Dutch. Dutch and German. But nothing with Swedish. I mean, I understand not many people in America are going to learn Swedish, but still. Not what? Okay. So, I'm back home now. And I hope you liked the footage that I got. I don't know how much of it is usable because there were a lot of people there. There was a fundraiser today, so it was super busy. And it was also like Christmas is in a few weeks, so that was also added to it. But I do have a little bit of a haul here, and then I will add an Amazon haul at the end because... Yeah, I bought stuff off of Amazon because I could get it for a better price. And some of the stuff that I wanted, I saw there and I was like, ooh, I want that. And I almost bought it because I couldn't find it on Amazon. But then I found it on Amazon for like $5 cheaper. And they're stunning. So I'll show you them later. But I did buy two things. I bought this book because it was the same price on Amazon. And it's called What You Gonna Do. And every time I hear this title, I think, what you gonna do? Girls gotta shine. But that's not what this is. This is, this seems like a cute little, like, magical, realism, romantic, like, cheesy novel. It's basically where there's, like, this girl her sister like gets cursed and she gets blamed for it and so she has to team up with this guy who i believe like continuously asks her out um to save them and she's like i'm never gonna fall for him he's kind of like a jerk or something but i like how it starts it seems like it's very um cheesy it's just like hi waves that's me please don't call me matilda it's Tilda or Tilly if you're my oldest sister, Effie. So it just seems like it's going to be fun. I don't know when I'm going to get to this because I work at a library and I bring home 20 books a month just to read. And I never get to more than like three of them. So I'm not quite sure when this I will get my hands on, but I'm excited to read this. It seems like it'll be fun and nice change of pace. And then I got these. As you saw, I went to the Harry Potter section. And it's just got, let's see if I can get the focus. The Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Goblet of Fire on them. And they're super cute. And I do want to reread Harry Potter probably in 2023. This year, I guess that's when this video is going up. I want to reread them. So yeah, I also got these last time we had to go to Fort Collins. I got this and I got a little Marauder's Map ornament. So I love Harry Potter. I'm not ashamed to say that. So, anyway, um, now let's get to the haul that I got on Amazon. It was an expensive one. And yes, it is all Harry Potter related. 
Okay, so it was not actually all Harry Potter related because I did end up getting The God Game by Danny Toby. This is the sci-fi book that I saw at the store and was intrigued by and it was a paperback that was like this big and it was $17. This on Amazon for the hardcover was 9 so it was not a hard decision to make, obviously. And I, it's just like an AI takes over a video game and these kids get sucked into it. It thinks the AI thinks it's like a god. I don't know, but it sounded interesting. It's same, same, I don't know when I'm going to get to it as the what you're going to do book, but I might make a point to get to this in 2023 because it sounds intriguing. And then I got these two right there. Oh my goodness. That right there. That right there is the other ornament I just mentioned. But these right here are the books I got off of Amazon. I got my favorite book right here in the illustrated edition. This is my favorite Harry Potter book. That's why I only have that one in paperback. I would like to get the rest of the series, but that was a necessity. And this was also apparently a necessity. And then I got these unbelievably gorgeous interactive also I'm on my tippy toes so I apologize these interactive books oh my goodness they're so freaking gorgeous just like they're interactive and I can't really give you a good view of them because I don't want to really open them till I read them this one arrived a little bit damaged but I saw these at Barnes and Noble and knew that I needed them so I found them on Amazon for like five dollars cheaper so I'm very happy with this. I want the whole series in this collection because it's just so freaking stunning. Dancing, dancing on the moon.